What's up, everybody? Welcome to Normieville. Well, we, we call you normies. So today we're going to talk about another subject regarding Zion Williamson. Of course, as you see on the screen here, Miss Mariah Mills. Miss Mariah Mills, the former adult entertainer, uh, OnlyFans uh, producer, uh, Instagram model, whatever you want to call her, potato head, Mariah Mills. Recently, a couple days ago, her Twitter page was suspended. We understand this was because she was engaging in uh, revenge prawn and other things of that nature, online harassment. What got her taken off of Twitter, probably temporarily, uh, which was permanent, but she was um, alleging she was threatening Zion Williamson to release a uh, SEGS tape of him and her probably doing some things that we don't want to see on public uh, public uh, social media. Any case, she doesn't have she doesn't know have a voice anymore. She can't tag Zion Williamson no more. She can't tag the Pelicans or anybody else, right? Because she's had to, she can't post any more screenshots or pictures or videos or insults or anything like that. Well, Stephen A. Smith yesterday was doing a live stream on his channel, the Stephen A. Smith Show, and some of his topics were, you know, the election. Uh, draft night, Mariah Mills ex trying to extort Zion Williamson and other things of that nature. And allegedly, Mariah Mills pulled up in the live chat. And I will confirm later on that this was probably indeed Mariah Mills for real, for real. But as you can see here, this is from Total Pro Sports. Adult film star who harassed Zion Williamson is now sending chat messages to Stephen A. Smith. Yes, she pulled up in the chat. Stephen A. Smith recognized it and also acknowledged it. So we're going to talk about it, and then I'm going to show you some things that were, I believe this was actually Mariah Mills. Let's get into it. Zion Williamson has been targeted by adult star Mariah Mills on social media at the point she had her Twitter account suspended after she threatened to illegally drop bedroom tapes between her and the New Orleans Pelicans star, like I told you before. Mills, who's been attacking the New Orleans Pelicans forward ever since he recently announced the pregnancy of his partner, girlfriend, named Akima, now has something to say on a popular to a popular ESPN host. Now, again, like I said, because she's been taken off the air, per se, she had her Twitter account suspended. Well, now she has found somebody that might listen to her in Stephen A. Smith. Stephen A. Smith is probably the top... Uh, sports personality analyst whatever you want to call him in the sports world and that's mainly basketball but other places too but mainly we're talking we're sticking to basketball so now she has somehow reached out to the 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 great Stephen A. Smith ahead of a segment on his Stephen A. Smith show broadcast Smith was told he had a message from Mariah Mills Smith took to Twitter to share the screenshot of Mills writing don't believe the narrative's we good. And quote, it seems Mariah Mills has entered my live YouTube chat. We're talking Zion, the top, well, Zion Williamson situation right now, Smith tweeted. And real quick, let me show you, before I get to the next segment of this article, let me show you the tweet in question right here. You see it right there. This was yesterday during June 21st, 3.3 million views. It seems Mariah Mills has entered my live YouTube chat. We're talking Zion Williamson situation right now. Again, this was a segment on his YouTube channel, on his live live stream, where he was talking about specifically Zion Williamson, and then she pulls up in the live chat, right? So let's get back to the article. There is no way of knowing if this was the actual account of Mills, as anyone can create an account and add a fake name to it. A drama-filled relationship has been unfolded mostly by Mills on Twitter. I would say damn near all of it because she was the only one talking about it. Again, like I said before, I can understand she was a scorned woman if Zion Williamson was lying to her. But to go through the lengths that she has gone to to uh, sabotage his career and to drag his name through the mud since then, 
In my opinion, the punishment does not fit the crime. She has gone way over the top. Just my opinion. Mills is clearly heartbroken that she has been allegedly lied to by Zion. Well, in my opinion, she's mad because, uh, well, his girlfriend got pregnant and not her. Because she wanted that back. She seems really upset that she is not the girl he got pregnant with and was likely hoping he would be her retirement plan. Enemy spotted. To make things crazy, Zion is simply having a child and not a man who's married. Their sexual, I'm sorry, their intimate relationship could have continued, but that ship has seemingly sailed after she went off on social media. Yes, she did. Now, in my opinion, this was Mariah Mills. Again, she does not have a platform on Twitter to spew out her her malice and her anger towards Zion Williamson, whether it's misplaced or not. But now, she's not done, apparently. So she's going to f probably talk to anybody that's going to be willing to listen at this point. So she's going to ratchet this, this anger and this sabotage up to another level. But real quick, I want to show you some stuff because I believe that this was actually Mariah Mills. Let's go to her TikTok page real quick. As you see here, she has 1.6 million followers. She's very uh, popular for in many communities. So I'm not going to, we're not going to talk about that, but you see it right here, right? Now, she recently came out with a new uh, song because she's trying to get into music as well. So she has a new song here. I'm going to probably mute this because I don't want people to hear her you know, voice, whatever. But you see this right here, right? This is a new song that she allegedly has come out with. Uh, Mariah Mills, uh, YDC or YOC. You uh, people, guys and gals out there can listen to it if you wish. But she has come out with a new song. I think this was two hours ago. As you can see, let me move my, there you go. As of two hours ago, this is her, uh, a snippet of her song. And of course, parental advisory at the bottom. You see it, right? So the next thing I want to do is I want to point you to her YouTube page where I believe this was indeed Mariah Mills. Now, it could be somebody that was playing her, but I'm pretty sure this was her because she also released this on her YouTube page. Let's, here, let's check this out. As you can see, Mariah M. Like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. And we go to one of her videos right here, right? You see she has dropped the YDC. Now, she hasn't been on here for a year. She has all kind of content on here. You know, of course... You know, bird brain stuff that Instagram and you know, Instagram personalities and you no know, uh, Instagram models and uh, pros, they go on here and, you know, all this kind of stuff. But you see here, 11 hours ago, she posted the video to her YouTube page as well. And she has 64.5K subscribers with 90 videos. Of course, she's a pretty woman, so she'll get it's, uh, she would get subscribers faster than the uh, typical person like myself or normie like me. But you see it here, right? Mariah Mills is on uh, YouTube and she's on TikTok. And I'm pretty sure at this point, because she doesn't have a, a Twitter page as of now, because it was suspended, it wasn't deleted in my, if, in my estimation, in my assumption. So once it becomes active again, she will be back. All right. But as you can see here, you see it. She is talking or allegedly attempting to have a conversation with Stephen A. Smith. So I don't know if maybe after the show, maybe somehow they went backstage virtually and had a conversation about this. I don't know. But if so, we will report on it when it happens. Right? So thank you again for attending another episode of Normieville. You know me, Mr. Normie, okay? I'm just a Normie. Here to bring you the latest and greatest in sports, news, entertainment, and politics. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section. And if you would, please, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell on your way out of the door. And I will see you on the next video.